Good morning. It is Thursday morning, November the 10th. We'll get started in a moment, but first I'd like to uh, remind you, if you've already subscribed, thank you. If you have not subscribed to the channel, um, please subscribe. If you click on the little bell, it'll notify you when I upload new videos. Like, comment, share my videos with your friends. Uh, all these things will help me to grow, and I'm grateful for everything that you do to help this channel to grow. Let's get right to our reading. Okay, so grab your cup of coffee or tea, and let's get started with this. Um, our overall energy for today is nurturing. I am a spark of divinity. Change me, divine beloved, into one who accepts my body exactly as it is, Seeing it as a vessel for your love, fill me with gratitude for this physical form and let me nurture and care for myself in every way. And I began with that because I looked at what was on the table in more or less a past, present, future um, format. Um, if we look at judgment, if we look over here on the left and, and, and we've got the judgment card and we've got the, the five of cups and judgment is the, the letting go of the past and of the regrets. Um, there's nothing we can do to change the past. If we're dissatisfied with something from our past, then, you know, we just need to let it go and we need to change what we can in the future to make things be different. We, we can completely do that. And the five of cups, that's, that's somebody who is so busy being miserable that they just focused on them three cups that's turned over and don't even see the two that's behind them that's full and has probably what they want and what they're looking for. And, and they don't notice that they got, you know, help across the river. You've got a bridge to get across the river. They just want to be miserable. And so whenever they get ready um, to stop being miserable, they can turn around and do something with these two cups that they got. And the queen says, be honest about it. Don't, don't be lying to yourself. Take this sword and cut through all the BS and get down to the truth uh, and, and, and the heart of the situation. And speaking about the heart, keep your emotions out of it if they are not improving the situation. Just look at this with a clear, logical mind. That's what the Queen of Swords is all about, mental clarity. She is the Queen of Clarity and Truth. And we... we move that on and say, okay, we're going to take care of ourselves. We're going to be honest with ourselves. We're going to leave the past in the past. And I'm tired of being miserable. And we look over here and we got the two of cups, which is all about love. And if you're in a relationship, then it's a genuine connection. If you don't have a relationship right now, don't worry about it. It's just saying that you are capable of love. And either way, that you've got something or someone good that's coming your way. And coupled with the Ace of Wands, what is that idea or, or that thing that has you all fired up, that you, you've got a passion for right now? Well, the Ace of Wands says go for it. Now is the time to take that idea and, and go to the next level with it. So... Let go of the past. Let go of what you can't change. Uh, stop being miserable. Be honest with yourself. Be true with yourself. Uh, uh, overall energy says be grateful. Be grateful for the body that you're in and the vessel that you have. And um, nurture and take care of yourself. That self-care. It's talking about self-care. And, and get yourself ready for this um, something good that's headed your way. And, and the ace is saying, let's go for it. Let's do this. So, um, yeah, I'm ready to get to the good stuff today. I can't do nothing about that past. I, I'm going to let that go. 
I'm ready. Come on, bring it on. Give me, give me the love. Bring me the 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 nurturing and the self care, and um, and and let's take this idea and let's run with it and let's have ourselves a good day today. <laughs>